Hey, welcome back. Good to see you. Today we're going to be talking some World of Warcraft, specifically Season of Mastery updates that Blizzard just announced pretty much like October 28th, so very recently. One of the ones that is really most exciting to me, it's that Blizzard has finally, I feel like, tapped into what the community actually wants. It's really exciting because, you know, last time I surveyed you all, you were like, number one thing is bots. Crack down on the bots. And really, this latest update, I feel like, is specifically targeted at bots. So I'm super excited about this, so let's dive right in. So number one, Blizzard has made a new debuff called Thief. This basically happens when you've pickpocketed way too many monsters in a row or creatures or humanoids, right? If you do it like 10 or more times. So I went to BRD, I started pickpocketing like crazy, you know, on the template character in Season of Mastery Beta. And I eventually got this thief debuff and every time I pickpocketed after I had this debuff, I was only getting this thing called Pocket Lint, which vendors for exactly two copper. This is super useless compared to the alternatives. Now, this debuff can't be dispelled, it can't be cleansed, it can't be removed, even by death. It's got the red border on it, it's crazy. So this is awesome. Um, I think this is gonna severely cut down on this form of gold farming, specifically being exploited though, mainly by bots. You know, tons of bots in BRD, right? Just pickpocketing like crazy. Maybe they'll try something else, I don't know. I think this is a great move. But, you know, you might think to yourself, you know, Blizzard, why don't you just ban the bots? Why, why do you got to take away this farming method for those of us rogues who want to farm like this, you know, and aren't bots? Well, fair, fair argument. Um, I think that maybe Blizzard just doesn't trust their ability to detect and report or ban bots at scale. Or maybe they don't want to because they're such a large portion of the subscriber base. And so it's income that they don't want to get rid of. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason. But the second point hints that perhaps Blizzard is making more of a targeted effort and getting rid of bots, hackers, and cheaters. Blizzard has stated that the latest test versions of World of Warcraft now include new code and new data related to forthcoming improvements to our methods and systems for handling player misbehavior. Now this is kind of vague, it's not entirely clear what player misbehavior actually is, it could, but in, I mean, when I think of it, I think of cheating. That's the first thing. Cheating and hacking, botting, player misbehavior, I feel like is like severe. It's not slash spitting on someone. Although I don't know, it's Blizzard. Maybe this is just them saying, oh, we've got totally re revamped emojis. You can't emote spit or laugh or poke. You can't harm any other players with any of your emotes. I really hope that's not the case. I highly doubt it. But I think that this could potentially be hinting at a more rigorous system that Blizzard is using in order to crack down on some of these bots, cheaters, hackers, etc. But we don't really know and we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Like when I used to go and report bots, really nothing would happen. It only happened once where I would report a bot and I get a letter in the mail from Blizzard saying they took action based on my report. Love getting those, by the way. But I've seen so many bots and I've reported them in TBC and I've had no letters. So I don't know if the crackdown is going very well for TBC. Now, the biggest announcement of all probably is number three, which is the release date and the name reservation date has been announced by Blizzard as of October 28th. We know that on November 11th, you can create one character per account and get that name reserved for yourself. So that is pretty exciting. Mark the ca mark calendars because November 11th is a big day. Get one of those really good names that, you know, it's just like one word and it's actually a normal name before you got to resort to some crazy names. Um, you know, stuff like that. So that's super exciting. And then also Season of Mastery Classic Plus, really, the new WoW Fresh has been announced to be November 16th at 3 p.m. PST. Launches are honestly the most fun, I feel like, out of anything ever. Like, I think back to... I don't even know, like um, Atlantis launch for TBC. That was crazy. That was the coolest thing ever. I had to like position myself where a mob was going to spawn and just spam auto attack so I can like tag one monster. Like I love the launches where you can't tag anything. There's people everywhere. It's madness. Chat is just completely absurd. And then you, it's just, it's awesome. There's just so many people. I can't wait for that. So November 16th at 3 p.m. PST, we can look forward to Season of Mastery launch. Very excited about that. And then we also have more changes announced for Molten Core and Anixia. 
So Blizzard hinted at that at, that they were going to do this. It should be live in the beta. I personally have not yet rated it, so I don't know. But there was some data mined information that could potentially be linked to some of these changes. We've got a spell called Armageddon. We've got Call Meteor, Charge. That's not really new, I'm sure. Maybe they just gave charge to more monsters. Dark Mending, so we've got some type of heal going to monsters or raid bosses. We've got Despawn Spiderlings. That's kind of interesting. Curious what boss within Anixia or Molten Core summons Spiderlings. I'm not actually sure about that one. Dispel Magic, uh, that could definitely uh, be interesting. Eruption, which looks like it could be some form of charge. We've got Explosion, Fireball Volley, Inferno, Living Fallout, Magma Splash. All of these sound like Molten Core abilities, if you ask me. Meteor, Summon Core Hound could actually be interesting. Definitely could make Molten Core a little harder if some bosses could literally summon Core Hounds. Like, imagine if it summoned, like, multiple amounts and you had to kill them all at the same time in the midst of a boss fight. That could be particularly exciting. And then we also have Summon Anixian Warder. This is certainly a Anixia add-on, potentially adding a phase where Anixia will summon these Anixian Warders. I'm curious how powerful they may be, but it's some type of add that's probably going to show up during the Anixia fight. And then, of course, we have the Teleport Spawn VFX, so that's probably just the new um, sort of the effect when these creatures are being spawned or summoned. So a lot of cool things happening here. We're going to have basically a easy, easier time leveling, harder types of raids. So far, Molten Core and Nixia are the only ones we're seeing upgraded, more difficult uh, encounters. Potentially, we could see this also happen for future raids, such as perhaps Zulgarub and Karaj and Noxramas. But so far, Blizzard has not announced any of those things. And then finally, the last announcement that Blizzard has revealed to us is that many groups of guard NPCs that were removed from Alteric Valley in patch 1.11 have been restored for Season of Mastery. This could potentially be very exciting because Alteric Valley is pretty much, you know, the same experience that we've always had. Having these additional guards could make it a little bit more fun, imagining, you know, that maybe it won't be as easy to ninja things with these additional guards. Perhaps it won't even make that big of a difference because the NPCs in Alteric Valley weren't even that crazy unless where they were like the ones in the base that were elite and were like crazy impossible to kill. But I'm glad that Blizzard's making all these changes, bringing some, you know, fresh changes to World of Warcraft because that was another thing that we all really wanted. If you look at the survey here, you can see that content was a really big thing that we all wanted added. We just want changes. We want a freshened up experience. Unfortunately, Blizzard hasn't announced anything on potential class balance changes or dual spec. I think it would be cool to see more meme specs be viable in World of Warcraft. Classic plus pretty much at this point. But as of, um, you know, so far, I don't think it's going to happen. And I wouldn't get your hopes up because release is pretty much less than a month away. And we know, of course, based off that release date, the phase cycle. So as you all know, you know, two months per phase, which means next Ramos, we can basically expect, I think, in like August or something. So pretty much all the phases should, you know, you should already know based off just looking at, you know, the 12 month release cycle, two months per phase. And they already released what's being released in each phase. So pretty much everything's laid out. I think it's pretty exciting because we actually know more about Classic Plus Fresh or whatever you want to call it, Season of Mastery, than we do TBC Classic at this point because... TBC Classic, it's like, when is Phase 2? Now it's like, I don't, people haven't really been asking, but we have no idea when Phase 3 will be, or Phase 4, or Phase 5. It's just, you know, it's it's sort of, we just don't know. And then, you know, like what, like a month or, or a few weeks before, Blizzard's like, oh, by the way, it's going to be released in two weeks. So I really like the communication that's been going on with Season of Mastery. I'm curious if it's different teams that are handling the two games, but... I'm really excited about Season of Mastery. It feels like we're going in the right direction. Blizzard is listening. We want the bots tackled. Number one priority. And it seems like that is what they are focusing on. So I'm super happy with all of the developments. If you are, go ahead and get this video a like and subscribe for more World of Warcraft content. My name's Toy House, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.